Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install Android on your Raspberry Pi. The version that I'm going to be installing in this video is actually an unofficial lineage of Android 9. Despite it being an unofficial lineage of Android, you can still download the Google Play Store and access most of its content, which I'll show you how to do in the second part of this video. But before we get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and you enjoy the tech related content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe and if you found this video helpful, it would definitely make my day if you'd leave a like. And now let's get started. First of all, you're going to have to download the ISO file containing the OS by clicking on the first link in the description below which will redirect you to a website called constakang.com. To download the ISO file, simply scroll down and click on the highlighted link. Then click on download and select primary download. While it's downloading, go ahead and install an SD card flasher. In my case, the Balena Etcher flasher by clicking on the second link in the description below or by visiting balena.io slash etcher. Once you've downloaded and installed both, you'll have to extract the image. You can either use WinRAR or 7-Zip to do this. Now that you've done that, just open up the flash and select the ISO file as well as the micro SD card that you'll be flashing it onto. Personally, I'm using a 64GB one. And click flash. As soon as it's done flashing, remove the micro SD card from your PC and plug it into your Pi. Just give it some time to expand and boot. As you can see, the Pi is now successfully booted up and you can now begin with a basic setup process, like you would with any other Android device. As you can see, Android 9 has been successfully installed on the Raspberry Pi and can now be used. However, the Google Play Store isn't installed yet, so if you want to find out how to do that, go ahead and check out the second part of this video lineup, where I'm going to show you how to install the Google Play Store step by step, since that alone will be quite a long video. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below as soon as I've uploaded it, which will be next Monday, so if you don't want to miss out on my next video, you're always welcome to subscribe. And if you found this video helpful so far, a thumbs up would be highly appreciated. But apart from that, that would be it for today. As always, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.